Hi folks, my name is Steve Califf and welcome to the very first edition of the Fataba video update. Uh, in these little segments we hope to bring you some new products, things of that nature. We'll do them on a fairly regular basis. Today we want to take a quick look at the new Fataba 8FG. You can see the radio laid out before me. We've got the transmitter, a neck strap, really nice dual charger. Uh, very important feature here, the R6008 HS receiver. This is a high speed receiver. If you use digital servos on the first six channels, this is going to give you a seven millisecond frame rate on those first six channels. Of course, we have a switch harness and a little screwdriver that we use for linking the transmitter to the receiver. Looking at the 8HFG itself, you can see this is a nicely laid out radio, very thin profile, quad ball bearing gimbals. Um, we have two two position switches here, one of which is spring loaded. Every other switch on this radio is a three position switch. All of these are three position. Uh, also using the function menu, you can assign anything to any of these switches, any of the knobs, any of the levers, trim levers, everything. Totally assignable. We have two rotary knobs here and on the back we've got two sliders. Again, great for using for flaps, things of this nature. Of course we have digital trims all the way around. Then when we open the bottom of the radio, you'll see that we have a 1700 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride battery pack. This is going to give you up to about four hours of runtime. Also, right here, you'll see this little slot. This is a secure data or an SD card slot. What that allows you to do is to increase the internal model memory from 20 models to as many as you want. The other really important feature of that is that it's going to allow you to keep the software of this radio consistently up to date. Anytime Fotopa releases a new software for this radio, we're going to put it on our website. You'll be able to download it to that SD card, insert it into your radio, and then you're going to instantly have the latest and greatest software for the 8FG. Let's power up the radio. You can see that we have a really nice backlit display. That display can be set to be backlit all of the time, or you can adjust it for as many seconds on as you want. Over on this side, we have what we call the sensor touch programming pad. And this is the same type of pad that you're going to find on an iPod or devices of that nature. Um, on the, this side over here, you're going to find the little touch pad to drop into the system menu. On the top, we'll drop in to the linkage menu by touching it twice. And then over here, the model menu, and all we have to do is touch it twice to drop into the menus. S1 at the bottom here um, is simply an escape key. It backs us up through the menus. And then the center gray button there, the return button, is what will actually drop into a menu. And then we use the outer dial to make changes or, or to uh, uh, scroll through menus. So let's hit the linkage menu one time and uh, we'll just drop right into that. You can see now that we've, we're looking at the linkage menu. If I move my hand around the outside of this, you can see how we're kind of scrolling around. Then I can hit the center button and we'll go into the menu. So then S1 and return will, drop, will pull me back out and I'll hit it again and we're back out to the main menu. Now one unique feature of the main menu is you can hit the return button and you get this really nice huge display of the dual timers that are available to you. Uh, you have actually these two timers and then you have an overall system timer as well. Um, what this allows you to do is do a count up or a countdown timer. You can have them activated by a switch, a knob. Uh, you can turn them on and off using your throttle sticks position if you want. Uh, hitting return again is going to take me back to the main menu. One other feature on this is if I hold down the S1 button, you'll see that little key symbol that has uh, appeared right next to the uh, right wing tip of the aircraft there. Um, if I, now if I touch the, the pad, nothing's going to happen. So this locks the display up, can't make any inadvertent programming changes. The ADFG will do any aircraft, it'll do helicopters, it'll do sailplanes, you name it. It's got all the programming built into it. Again, looking at that side profile, very thin radio, really nice for the smaller hands, absolutely perfectly balanced from the neck strap. Only 2.4 gig radio out there that is, in fact, perfectly balanced for the neck strap. So there you have it, Fataba's new 8FG transmitter. I'm Steve Califf for the Fataba video update. We hope to see you next time.